For today's project, we're going to be working on a Google slide called All About Animals. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we can see our Google slide really well because we have a presentation here that if we pushed slideshow, we could see that this is what appears. But I want you to be able to see the notes over here. So right now, I know that I can see them. If you can't see them, if you hover over this gray bar on the bottom and then click your left click, which is your green dot on your mouse, then you hold that down. You can move that gray bar to the left or right to be able to see it. So if you can't see it very well, this over here, then what you need to do is you need to click where it says, probably up here yours says fit like this. You're going to need to click the different numbers, like this is too small at 50, but go ahead and try the different numbers until you can see on your monitor you have a good view of my notes for you on the left and for your presentation. So pause and do that now. Now the next thing it's really important to remember is that what is on this white rectangle is what's going to be able to be seen when you press slideshow. So these notes over here, let's remember those are just instructions for you and I'll be using them, these notes as I'm walking you through your project today. So if the first thing it says is add your name below the title. So here is our title, All About Animals. I want you to click inside where it says click to add subtitle and I want you to put by and then I want you to put your name. So pause and do that now. The next thing it says insert an image of your favorite animal on the slide. So I'm going to choose a dog. I love dogs, they're my favorite. I'm going to press insert image, this little box right here on the toolbar. It's um, has a it's a square with two little rectang two little triangles in it. Those are supposed to be mountains. So click on that and choose search the web. And then I'm going to click dog and choose a dog and then I'm going to press insert. So pause and do that now. Okay, when I press insert, you can see here that the animal shows up my dog, but it's too big. So I'm going to choose to use these handles, the squares on the, around the outside. I'm going to choose that one and I'm going to bring it down and then I can change my size. Now I didn't choose the ones on the side. Let me just show you. If you chose the ones like on the side or on the top or bottom, it's going to make the image not look exactly right. So if you did that, just press your undo button right up here and let's get it back where it's the right ratio or dimensions and then you can move it over. So I'm just going to make mine a little smaller so it shows up and I want to make sure it stays in the rectangle, so go do that now. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to add an animation to make our title or image appear. So let me show, me, show you how we do that. So right now I am going to highlight or click on select my text box for the title, which is all about animals. So I'm going to click right here and you can see that there is a blue box around. But notice you also see this line blinking that's called your cursor. We don't want that on the, we don't want that blinking. I just want to click on the outside line and that means I've selected everything inside that text box. So go ahead and do that. Now we're going to click insert and we're going to go to animation. Now when you do the animation, what happens is there's a default animation, which when you click on it, it automatically shows. And right now it says it's going to appear on click. So what we do want it to do is I want this to kind of fade in. Because right now if I press play, nothing is there. It's going to show up if I click on it with my mouse and then it showed up. But I would like it, so that's the default, but I would like it to press stop and then I can choose. I want all, there are all these other possibilities, but I want it to fade in. And then that happens when I click on it. So I'm going to press play. Again, you don't see it. And then I can click on it and it says all about animals. So that's what I want you to do. I want you to go choose that animation of fade in and then you can try it and see what it looks like and go do that now. All right. Then now that we have done that, you can go ahead and press this X and that 
box over on the right will, for animation, it goes away. So we are done with slide one. Let's move on to slide two. Slide two is all about the elephant. Here are some facts. Elephants are the largest land animals. They live in Africa and Asia, and they love to eat plants and fruit. So those are our facts about elephants. What we wanna do is highlight one sentence and change its color or font style. So to do that, we're just gonna click right here in front of elephants. Now you see when we did that, yes, the blue text box is highlighted, but we also see our cursor flashing. I wanna highlight this first bullet point. So I'm gonna press my shift button on my keyboard, hold it down, and my down arrow key twice, and then I've highlighted that sentence. Now I want to change the color of my font. To do that, now that it's highlighted, I'm going to this A where it has the line underneath it, and you can see when I hover it says text color. I'll click on it, and then I'm going to choose another color. I'm just gonna choose this blue color right there, and my font has changed, so please go change your font color now. Now we want to add an animation to make one sentence or the whole paragraph fade in. So let's show you how that happens. Again, I'm gonna click the whole text box, wrong text box, I wanna click the one on the bottom, and notice no cursor is flashing. That cursor is that straight line. I don't want anything flashing. I'm just gonna click the text box, go to insert, and now I'm gonna to go to animation. Once that is done, I don't want it to be on a pier. That's the default. I want it to be fade in. So I'm gonna click this arrow beside there and I'm gonna choose fade in. And I'm also going to click, I'm gonna choose by paragraph. Watch what happens here. And I press play. So now, once I click, it just does the first line and then the second, and I click again and it does the third. So every line I had to click to make it appear. So I'm gonna press stop and I can click this X. Do that now. Now the next thing we wanna do is we wanna insert an image of an elephant. So let's go up here, search the web, and we're going to choose elephant. Pick a picture of an elephant. I'll choose this one and press insert. And I also want to resize it and move it around to make sure it fits right here. So pause and do that now. Now that you've chosen your picture of an animal, of the elephant, we want to apply a simple animation of zooming in. So make sure your elephant is selected, and we're gonna click Insert, Animation. Now notice we already have an animation. This is the second one. That's because this one, you see those letters right there? That is reminding us that we already have an animation chosen for this page. But now we want to do the one with the arrow going down. This is for the elephant. We're going to highlight, or not highlight, we're gonna click on this arrow right here, and we're going to go all the way down to where we see zoom in. And we're going to do it not on click, we're going to do it after previous. So that means that once the paragraph has shown up and all three of those sentences have shown up, then we don't have to click again, the picture will just zoom in. So let's press play. I chose after previous and now I'm gonna press play. I'll click once, twice, three times, no more clicking, but yet the image comes in. So now press stop, and you can do that now. All right, now we're ready to move on to slide three, fun facts about animals. So here's a fun fact. Did you know that dolphins sleep with one eye open? I did not know until this presentation. So what we wanna do is we wanna add an image of a dolphin. So let's go up to our image, search the web, and we're going to look for dolphin. I'm gonna choose this top image and press insert. And then I'm going to move this down to where I want it. So pause and do that now. Now the next thing we wanna do is we want to add an animation for our text to fly in from the left. So we want our text right here. Did you know that dolphins sleep with one eye open? We want that to fly in from the left. So we've selected it right here. And now that we've selected it, you can see we're gonna add animation. There we go. And now we want to click this arrow and choose fly in from the left. And we're gonna do it on click, so press play. We'll click, 
And there is our text. So go do that now. I will press stop and I'm not closing this box because while we're here, let's go ahead and add an animation for our dolphin. So click on the dolphin. Now that we've clicked on the dolphin, we're gonna choose add animation and now we want it to fly in from the right. So it's going to be opposite. We're gonna do fly in from the right and instead of being on click or after previous, let's put with previous and see what happens. Now we're gonna press play. We'll click once and you see once we clicked, they both came in at the same time. Now we can press stop. One more thing to do is we're gonna change the font size for our fun fact. So let's click on this. And now that the whole box is highlighted, make sure there's no cursor inside, we're going to change our font size. So I'm gonna click this plus sign, make it a little bit bigger. So go and do that now. And then the last thing I'll let you do is you get to also go right over here and choose this arrow and you can choose any font you'd like. So go do that now. Now we have completed our slide presentation. What's left is the fun part. We can watch it. So let's go ahead and go up to the very first slide, first slide in our show. Click Slideshow. And now we will click and click again. And every time you click, something new is going to happen on your presentation. And we'll click again to go to the next slide. And we'll click again. And there we go. This is our slide presentation. You have completed it. Great job. You may turn this in onto Google Classroom.